Logic Pro plugin loader is probably my favorite part of the new SoundFlow integration with Logic Pro X. And the reason is it's just fun. You have all of your plugins laid out visually in front of you and you're just choosing processes and not digging through menus and getting lost in the technical. So let's hop over to Logic and check it out. So we've got the main Logic deck loaded up onto this Stream Deck 5x3 over here. And I'm just gonna click on the plugins button here to get all of the options for the stock plugins from Logic. We'll get into customizing this for third-party software in just a bit, but for now, this is how the stock setup is laid out. So we've got the EQ here, we've got Vintage Console EQ, we've got the Vintage Tube EQ, and the Channel EQ, and then we've got the Dynamics, we've got Compressor, de -esser. If you hold Option, you can actually add to the bus or this second channel strip on the right here. So I'm gonna do option adaptive limiter. Now I've just added a limiter to the master bus and I can also do, you know, a multi-presser or something. I probably would switch these in order. The other fun thing is that we've got all of the like amp stomp boxes and the effects that are built in as pedals within Logic. So we've got, you know, the blue echo and the spring box and we've got the candy fuzz and grit and the vintage drive so all these really fun tools that you might not reach for otherwise but when they're visually laid out like this it just makes it kind of more enticing to use so i'm going to close all these windows that's another great command that is built into the logic integration from soundflow it's close all floating windows for some reason that's not an option within logic and we kind of built that out to facilitate this a bit Back in SoundFlow, the plugin loader is what we call a command template. A command template is a special kind of command that accepts template properties, these guys right here, to allow you to customize different presets using the same architecture. So each of these presets are calling a different EQ plugin from Logic, but they're just changing the plugin path here to facilitate that. We can also add our own presets. So I can add a preset by just going to add new preset here or using the new button and doing new preset. And I'm just gonna add the UAD LA2A. And this is how we start to add our own custom third-party plugins to the plugin loader. We need to define the plugin path now. So we gotta go over to logic and we're gonna look up the plugin path. So the way to do this is search the way that you Probably search for plugins now and scroll for a while. And it's actually called the Teletronics uh, LA2A Gray. So we're gonna remember this plugin path so we can tell SoundFlow where to go and how to get here. And the good thing is this is the last time we have to go this way to get there. So let's hop back over to SoundFlow and we're gonna do audio units and we're just gonna hit enter in between each kind of section of the plugin menu path. And we've got Universal Audio here. And then we've got UAD Teletronics LA2A Gray. And we don't actually have to put in the channel configuration because we have this plugin width parameter here that we can just set to stereo or mono or whatever we want. But I usually will leave it as same as track. The plugin slot I usually leave as after last use slot, but if I wanted to, I could use first insert bar to add it to the first insert slot in this logic channel. Or if we wanted to add to the first free slot, it would add to the first slot that had a gap in it basically. So in between two different plugins. And then after your last use slot, it's just the end of the chain. And that's usually what we want. So we're gonna stick with that for this one. And I'm just gonna test this by running it real quick. Good, we've got it. We don't ever have to go down that menu path again. That's awesome. So I'm gonna close that and then we are going to add an icon for it to make it a little prettier. So we've got an, an icon here. I'm just gonna command C that and then set the icon from the clipboard and we've got a beautiful icon. So now I wanna add this to my own deck. I'm gonna do it to my favorite plugins deck here and hit okay. And now I've got this full deck of beautiful icons with my favorite plugins ready to go. And I'm just gonna show off how that works in Logic a little bit. So same way that we've done with all the other ones, we can go and start adding these plugins one after another. We can do Pro-Q from Fab Filter, Pro-DS. You can see we've got a bunch of, you know, plugins ready to go really quickly. And I'll just close them all with Control-W again. And then we've also got Decapitator, Echo Boy, Superplate from uh, 
sound toys and I'm loading them faster than uh, the GUIs load, but that's okay. The point is staying in the flow, staying focused on what you're making. I didn't have to dig through a menu and like forget what I'm looking for. I'm staying in the process the whole time and I'm just making decisions based on, you know, what I actually want to do. We really hope that this helps you create faster and stay in that mental zone. Thank you.